soon even be more to attract people to that district. Hey, April. Hey, that's right, John and Robin. In the next two months, two new restaurants are scheduled to open, and that's not all that you may notice. It is amazing to see it this busy during the week. Carrie Ann Hatmaker's family spent the day in Market Square enjoying the farmer's market and the fountains. It's just so alive, and we really love it, and uh, it's a great way to spend the day. While they relax, work is underway to get the soccer taco finished, and Spanish food will be served up at Sangria's when it opens in August. And we thought about <coughs> various locations throughout Knoxville, but in the end, our heart was set with downtown because of how historic it is. Glenn Lake and the owner of 37 Market Square says they are at the threshold of determining whether that building will be renovated or demolished. They say due to structural problems, it may not be salvageable, but they plan on restoring the site with a structure that fits in with the historic buildings in Market Square. Demolition on this crumbling facade could begin as early as July or August. Right now, the owner of this building tells me he's simply waiting on approval to make sure the restoration is historically accurate. Once that's finished, he says retail space will go in on the bottom floor. Um, we're getting close to having all of the buildings renovated, the closest it's been in at least 30 years, which is really exciting. We love it. I am so happy that they're revitalizing this area with all of these historic buildings. I mean, this is such a, an amazing part of town. Thank you, sir. Have a glorious day. And another change, the owners of Vagabondia are planning to sell their building, but they hope the new owners will allow the shop to continue occupying that retail space. John and Robin. April, thanks for that look.